Hey y'all, it's Dr. Wade and I just want to say I got so much positive feedback on my Just a Minute series that I have finally been convinced to continue the series. Um, here's the caveat though, I won't do it every day anymore. In fact, my choice is to do it on Wednesday. I'm going to call them my Wow Wednesdays. Well. <laughs> wellness on Wednesdays because wow is my theme for 2018. So on Wednesdays, because I usually get home before the sun goes down, I will do a just a minute on a health topic. Since there are some supplements that patients frequently ask about, and family and friends. Um, I'm going to continue going through that list of supplements that people are frequently interested in, and then I'll choose like whatever topic you want me to go over. Maybe different diets, maybe different, I don't know, whatever, but I'll do it in a minute on Wednesdays moving forward. But for today, for today, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm a little bit rusty, right? For today, the just a minute topic is going to be lysine. So let me get my timer started. All right, today's featured nutrient is lysine. Lysine is really important and probably popularly known because of its role in helping to decrease the frequency and severity of herpes outbreaks. So people who get recurrent cold sores and perhaps even for herpes of the genital area, Lysine taken daily as a supplement might be helpful, but lysine is actually an essential amino acid, which means you can't make it yourself, so you have to get it from the foods that you're eating, and it's really, really important for helping you to build healthy collagen and connective tissue. You should look for it in supplement form as L-lysine, and the amount needed to avoid signs of deficiency is one to two grams per day. You need much, much higher doses if you're trying to prevent the recurrence or the severity of herpes outbreaks. But for the general population who's not affected by herpes and PS, um, we know that perhaps as many as two thirds of adults over the age of 50 show signs of herpes antibodies. Everyone needs one to two grams per day. The good news is that you can get lysine in lots of foods especially in things like beans, nuts, and seeds, and also in just about every meat. So beef, pork, poultry, lamb, fish, and then cheese and eggs. All right, that's lysine. Remember, I'll take a picture of the board. I'll uh, post some additional extra facts. And moving forward, just a minute will happen on Wednesdays. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.